Hey everybody, this is Simon. In this video we will take a look at how to implement iterative in order traversal of a binary tree. For in order traversal we traverse the left subtree. Visit the current node. And traverse the right subtree. Let's do in order traversal for this binary tree. We start from the root node. Since the left subtree of the root was not visited, we go to node 2. The left child of node 2 was not visited, we go to node 4. Node 4 doesn't have a left child. We print 4 to the output. Node 4 doesn't have the right child. We go back to node 2 and print 2 to the output. Node 2 has the right child. We go to the right. Node 5 does not have child nodes. We print 5 to the output and return to node 2. Node 2 and all its children were visited. We go back to the node 1 and print 1 to the output. We completed traversing the left subtree of node 1 and go to the right child. Node 3 does not have a left child so we print 3 to the output and go to node 6. Node 6 doesn't have child nodes. We print 6 to the output. We completed the in-order traversal of the binary tree. In the recursive implementation we relied on the program stack. Since we will implement an iterative version we have to track traversal ourselves. To track the traversal we will use a stack and a reference to the node currently being processed. A stack is a data structure that follows the last and first out policy. This means the last element added to the stack is the first to be removed. The current is a reference to a binary tree node that is being processed. We start traversing from the root node and set the current to the root of the binary tree. If the current is not null we push the current node to the stack and set the current equal to the current's left node. Current is not null. We push node 2 to the stack and set the current to node 4. Current is still not null. We push node 4 to the stack and set current equals to left child of nodes 4. Current equals null. As soon as the current is null, we pop a node from the stack, print the value to the output, and set the current to the right child of the node. We pop node 4 from the stack, print 4 to the output, and set the current to null because node 4 doesn't have a right child. Current is null, we pop node 2 from the stack, print 2 to the output, and set current to node 5 because node 5 is the right child of node 2. Current is not null, we push node 5 to the stack and set the current to null because node 5 doesn't have left child. We pop node 5 from the stack, print 5 to the output, and set the current to null because node 5 doesn't have a right child. Current is null, we pop node 1 from the stack, print 1 to the output and set current to node 3 because node 3 is the right child of node 1. Current is not null, we push node 3 to the stack and set the current to null because node 3 doesn't left child. Current is null, we pop node 3 from the stack, print 3 to the output and set current to node 6. Current is not null, we push node 6 to the stack and set the current to null because node 6 doesn't have left child. Since the current is null, we pop node 6 from the stack, print 6 to the output, and set current to null because node 6 doesn't have right child. Node 6 was the last node to traverse. We completed in order traversal because the stack is empty and the current is null. Iterative and recursive implementations produce the same output and have the same time complexity. The recursive version is a bit easier to read and write. It's good to know how to implement the iterative version because it's one of the basic algorithms. Here is how to implement the in-order traversal in Python. The implementation in C-sharp or Java is very similar. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.